This podcast series is brought to you by World of Coffee Dubai and DXB Live. Expand your specialty coffee brand into the fastest growing specialty coffee market in the world by becoming an exhibitor at the next World of Coffee Dubai in 2024. I will be there, so head to worldofcoffeedubai.com and join the mailing list to get notified when booth registrations become available. Check the show notes for further details. Welcome to the Daily Coffee Pro Friends. I'm your host, Lee Safar, and this is our final conversation, and I promise you this is going to be fantastic. This is our final conversation from World of Problems Dubai. And before I get started with our fabulous guests, um, I want to mention and thank DXB Live, uh, Specialty Coffee Association, UAE, and World of Problems Dubai for bringing Maple forward all the way to this fantastic city for this amazing event. Honestly, folks, of all the events that I've ever been to, this is the best coffee expo that I have ever attended, and many people have said that you've been to many events. So congratulations to the organisers. Thank you, Lee. Just so happened to be our final guest on the podcast. So we yeah. have Fadi and Ali. Fadi and Khalid. <laughs> okay. It's the last very, guest, very Ali. Very long day. <laughs> okay. Very long day. <laughs> Days. Okay. So That's okay. Fadi and Khalid. First of all, thank you for trusting me enough to do this. It has been the honor of my career to do this. This has been like a long build for me to get to a point where all of the things that I've been building with Mapper Ford Middle East and the English version of the podcast, to see it all culminate to here feels like a new starting point for my business. So our pre- pleasure. Thank you, Lee. Thank you. Our pleasure. You did a fantastic job. So, thank you so much. really, thank you for thank being you. here as well. Thank you. Can I make a small statement just uh, for the beginning? Okay, so uh, the show, what time is it now? It's around, it's exactly. what time the show ends? At 4 p.m., right? 4 p.m. He, he's sitting in the show floor and uh, already exceeded, the, he's breaching the show exactly. uh, timing, okay? And why you want to I think get the audience people... should know yes. that this is the closest we've been, me and you. Me you think so? Orga- event no, 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 no. There is a point, okay? The show ends at four, and you kicking out exhibitors, and now, now it's four thirty. Look at the timing. This has caught me. Okay? The audience needs to know. Okay, this is the thing. Okay, so it's four thirty. Okay. That's See, an this is an announcement. Even I have an announcement. How you are doing a podcast, and the show is leaving? Okay. People are not leaving. Yeah. I told I told you to push it until six. You didn't listen to us. Okay, you can carry on. That's okay. She cannot. She has to wait for the announcement to get over. You kept on inviting people in. Yeah, there is security stopping like uh, dozens of people on the door. To our audience. Really. Okay, uh, never mind. It's been a wonderful experience. This is my first year uh, working on the world of coffee. Uh, before I started this, I had no expectations at all. It was for me just another event I'm preparing. Uh-huh. Then I have joined an amazing team with the SCA, and I've been introduced amazing. to the coffee he community. Said, he said amazing. That's good. So Khalid on camera. Camera, yeah. to me, the coffee community. They the famous, roasted. They roasted me. Okay. Grind fine. Grind Grinded me. Yeah. Okay. And uh, now you have the finest version of me. Okay. <laughs> uh, this, this is aftermath. Okay, so basically, I was, uh, I was, uh, I was in front of the cannon all the time. So I had to put him in front of the community, and uh, yeah, it's okay. So good luck with that. I just received the report. Shall I tell him how many people have visited us or no? You think he deserves to know? Do you know how many people? Have what was the? Bet? I've been asking them what, for the last three days. The they bet? didn't. I just. What was the bet? What was the bet? You tell me. All right. We have hosted up till now. This is minus the people you've allowed in now, last minute. Forget about it. Yes. 12,355 visitors. Yay! Minus those who just entered. Can I shout? Huh? (laughs) 
I think we okay. could have had some... Okay. Delirious and exhausted. <laughs> so, uh, all right, just to, to take you through quickly in numbers what yeah. we have achieved. So we had 186 exhibitors uh, with uh, a thousand plus brands because a couple of exhibitors, a lot of them were representing several brands yep. coming from around 42 countries from around the globe. And thanks God, we have overachieved the number of visitors. I think this was a record breaking. Yeah, uh, it is. And, uh, Alhamdulillah, it is. I, I can't speak. Well. One wonderful podcaster that did an amazing job. I'm going to show them the small... Look what she has right next to her. What is this? Oh, this is product Stri placement. Stripsils. Yes. She's been popping stripsils. <laughs> Man, since the morning. Why she didn't tell me I'll get her German brand? <laughs> yeah, so we've been living on coffee for the past we have, exactly we have three days. So uh, uh, honestly, it was an honor to work with Khaled. Thank yeah, you, Khaled. Thank you. Fun. I think really the XP Live were proud to work with SCA Dubai. And Khaled is, is such a talented person. He's such dedicated. And honestly, now, beside all the hard work that uh, we've done and the hard time that he gave me, <laughs> he's a super nice mentor. Guys, I, I think what we have to do, we have to produce a pre-event video about what I've been through okay. with that gentleman. Nah. And I think this should be kind of a story to tell. Is it? To take it around the globe. And Buddy, you have no idea. I'm just warming up on you. What? Yeah. That's the beginning of the long sorrow years. Okay. <laughs> Map it forward next year. Okay. <laughs> Gonna switch seats. <laughs> So Seriously, can you tell me please to what is going to be an amazing rest of the day? It has just been laugh after laugh after laugh. I'm sure the people are going to all cry, but we've just laughed so much. And I have to thank you both for treating me like your sister. Like, it's just, I feel very at home. I feel very safe and I feel very protected. By thank you. Thank you very much. It's our thank pleasure. You. I think Dubai is honestly a hosting city that that that, 100%. that gives the best out of every one of us. So convince me to move here. Yeah, so seriously, please do. My <laughs> comments. <laughs> Too much fun. <laughs> okay, uh, my comments about the show. Okay. Number one, D DXP Life. Okay, they, I mean, organize major trade shows in Dubai. You have the biggest ones, Jitex, Gulf Food, Gulf Host. You have the big five, all of them. All the stand building and everything of preparation goes by the, the uh, production I'm talking about and, the, and so on. What you see in the uh, show floor uh, now, what you experience, it's like a five star. But uh, yeah. It's the, unquestionably so. Absolutely. It's. Well done, I'm serious. It's amazing. We we say we, we say we always Ali me and you, right? <laughs> she keeps referring to Ali. I wanna meet Ali. I wanna I wanna watch all the broadcasts I'll that you've done. I'll tell you after. <laughs> <laughs> She's no 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 no. She's... You don't know. It's 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 circulating, okay? Because uh, Bishari and Ali was here, okay? And uh, they you cannot speak of previous previous yes. <laughs> okay. Shari and Ali, we love you. Okay. <laughs> Anyhow, so seriously, okay, fine. So, uh, yeah, exactly. Okay. <laughs> let's let me, let me go. Let's talk about it. Honestly, <laughs> no, seriously. I mean, when it comes to, we supposed to work in Dubai Coffee Festival, by the way. Okay. Okay. He wrongly got on board. Okay. Correct. Correct. Yeah. This is a true story. It's true story. I met him only once or twice till we decided to host uh, the second edition of World of Coffee. And then we, he brought in board. But I met him for the festival before. We had the meetings and we went to the, the venue where we were supposed to host it as well. Correct. So yeah. basically, I'm the head of live events at the XB Live. So I'm responsible of the fun part of the business, which is concerts, festivals, yeah. the big shows, yeah. uh, the opening and closing ceremonies of Dubai festivals. So we've been uh, planning the Dubai uh, uh, Coffee Festival yeah. as a B2C event. And this is one of Matt Khaled, 
when we were discussing the uh, uh, the world of coffee. And w- one of the comments which he gave, okay, because he's uh, this is the first time he's doing B two B corporate event, okay. He don't tell the audience it's my first time. Is it no B two B? Them. You told me this. Yes, it's my first B two B. Yes. Yes, but you do live events, of course, and conferences. Yes. Yes. True. So, <laughs> so basically, when he felt the challenge and so on, it's he told me it's really headache. Okay, right? You told me it's, it was a headache for him. It yeah. was challenging. Yes, I loved it. It was challenging. You want some of this? Yes. <laughs> It might relieve your exactly. headache, okay? <laughs> <laughs> Absolutely. Of course. He he he, he does this. Well. Product placement. What else do you have? <laughs> so uh, yeah, but I'm I'm really happy. I mean, the successful of the show because I ask every exhibitors and show and tell them and w- the same what we did last year. I'm still gonna to take me maybe uh, one or two weeks. To get the, all the feedbacks, uh, obviously from the community, uh, some of them they say it. Uh, I will give you some tips. Uh, they are hosting a big event, but in a medical here, he told me I'll give you some tips which are gonna help you to boost your event uh, in the next coming years as well. So most important for me is the deals, the companies, how much deals they make because. We are not here setting to showcase a product line, okay? So we need to create a business for these uh, companies as well. Well, I can tell you from my perspective, mm-hmm. um, and we haven't spoken about this before, and I don't mind like, sharing it with my audience. I got interest from enough people who got a sponsored podcast for the next year. Wow. Mashallah. I'm impressed. You deserve it. I think, Mashallah, that, seriously, it's one stunning. of the success. Uh, stories of this event is because everybody was moving towards the same direction. They yeah, wanted so to true. create something yeah. special, special in Dubai, special for Dubai, for the community. So honestly, everyone from this, from the association yeah. to the to the organizers, even to the exhibitors themselves. Yeah. I've seen exhibitors that would invest a lot of money to build the nicest booth. There was a competition technically between them who's going to build the nicest booth. I've never seen that in, in any world of coffee before. So... I think what what happened is it's the Dubai yeah, it's uh, effect. Dubai. That's the, the Dubai effect. effect. Not to mention that the companies who didn't participate or the the one who pulled out, they regret it. Remember, we're on a podcast. <laughs> okay. No, no, because I'm taking the feedback because uh, our government coordinator, uh, Mr. Mohammed Gharir, he have a big companies also dealing with, and he tried to convince them to come and participate and so on. And they saw the exposure. They visited the show, but they say, "I wish we knew it's going to be like that." And so Stay on. Stay tuned for twenty twenty four. Yeah. Invited back, honestly, because it's going to be so fun. You're one of us. There is no way uh, out of that. I'd be shocked if I wasn't like actually living here by the millions. It's like, well, you're going to be living here, sir. I just moved back. My mother's going to kill me if my twin sister and I are living in separate countries. We'll fly her over as well. She can. <laughs> so, one's going to work for us, and the twins is going to work for you. Where? In my museum? Yes, in the coffee museum. Yeah. Doing what? Yeah. Grinding an old motor? Yes. <laughs> okay. So, so. Let's wish the electricity doesn't shut down and uh, all this uh, broadcast goes away, okay? Because <laughs> they are shutting down the electricity to kick everybody out. Okay. okay. <laughs> yes, please, go ahead. It was the biggest success of it. The smiles on people's face. I... My biggest success is I've seen everyone smiling. And honestly, it's like relief. There is a very nice story that happened to us today. Right. We wanted to, uh, to fill the form. So we went to each and every exhibitor just to fill a form about how satisfied he is during that show. None of the exhibitors were able to fill that form because all of them were busy. And this is something that really made me extremely happy because even for them to fill a form, they didn't have two minutes. Up till now, the show is over an hour ago. I still see people doing business, interacting. I mean, this is amazing. Oh, my God. You see, well, we also, we started shutting down the light. There you go. And still have people inside. This is what I call the cancer of a trade center, okay? 
this is our strategy. Strategy. They start to close the lights. Then. I'm sure they're going to shut us down. But at least I have my Etisalat Wi-Fi working in it. <laughs> this they cannot control. <laughs> We're going to pay her by the end of the show for seven, seven eight products that you have placed. What was the biggest success for you? Biggest success. Uh, the local uh, international coffee community satisfaction. The company's feedback, very valid, okay, and very promising for the next couple of years. The In terms of organization for us, it's very hard to maintain all the programs and the timings, okay, and these are the critical times what we have to run and, you know, to finish the championship, the brew bar timing and minute, <coughs> excuse me, management as, as well as the cupping room. So this all was pre-planned with all the volunteers and people who involved. And I would take this opportunity to thank them so much for their dedication and effort and hard working as well. Uh, plus the support from the SEA and other staff as well who supported us and uh, especially above all the DXP Life uh, staff. Right. Okay, It was a long journey for last six months. Every Friday, twice a week, I come, I bring my, uh, I bring, uh, my coffee, uh, coffee gear to them. <laughs> Maybe my wife is watching that. What? No, we were not going to a night club to meet. No, 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 not. Well, I'm talking about uh, before uh, Jum'a prayer, I, we need to go and bring a, uh, my coffee gear. Okay. I've, I've got this bike. Uh, I would like to thank my wife for supporting me for really... Uh, uh, <laughs> exactly. No, no, uh, Lee, this is, a, this is, a, this is true. So Maya, because this is true. One time, one time his wife came over to see what's happening, why Fadi is busy all the time because she was... True story. He's uh, with me. And then we talking everything about coffee. Okay. Where are you? It's two in the morning. Yeah, I'm with Khaled in this meeting. What meeting? I want to meet <laughs> so thank you, Maya, for supporting us. Thank you, Maya. Us. Thank you, Maya, for making all of this happen. But I do have something that I want to say. For anyone that's watching this that is in the specialty coffee industry in the Middle East, um, I'm not sure that it's quite transparent how long Khaled has been working on building this industry. That's a very it's, a teamwork. it's a teamwork. It's a teamwork. Yes. Thank you for being humble, but honestly, yeah, I think it's a good question. And the world needs to do this. Um, I don't know that people understand that everything that you do is on a volunteer basis. And the conflicts that you have to deal with and the politics that you have to deal with are ginormous. And our industry is better because you're in it. Our industry is not our industry without you in it. And we are lucky to have you. Thank you. Thank you very much. Really thoughtful of you. Really. Yes, I, Thank I you. can literally. I, I would say the exact Ali, same thing. Ali, Ali, Ali. <laughs> I'm Ali is my brother, by the way. <laughs> so, Ali, this is also for you. <laughs> that's true. Like, and, and I know you won't acknowledge it, but the people who are leaving never get said thank you to they're the ones who are saying thank you to everybody else. I want to thank you on behalf of everything. Because this is a large portion of it is because of what you fought for. True. Thank you very much. It was a journey. And again, I will say it's a teamwork. <laughs> it's a, I will say, okay. It's so politically correct. He really is. I would, you know, I would say something else. I would say I would like to thank me for being me. And then you drop the mic. This is what you should do. You think so? Of course. You know so. <laughs> I'll speak on his behalf. I think, listen, Khaled, uh, Khaled did a tremendous work. The passion that he has is, is, is outstanding. Yeah. So uh, during the journey that we've had together, I haven't seen someone that passionate about, uh, about coffee, about the industry. About because I've attended a couple of meetings where I saw how he's negotiating with, with government entities uh, uh, for the interest of the coffee traders, the coffee shops, and the coffee business. So, yes, I think Khaled is doing a wonderful job. And I think year after year, you would see how the, the, the fruits of all these efforts are going to come to life. 
Yeah. So on behalf of everyone, Khaled, thank you very much. Thank you very much. Thank you. What doing what you're doing. Uh, you're an amazing person. Tell them how much now you love me. I do. Since the first day I met you. <laughs> now, can you put some battle music, please? <laughs> Jack, don't let go. <laughs> no, no, I really appreciate uh, your thoughtful comments, both of you. And then Dasi, who appreciated as well my work. Uh, the other day we were at Gulf Reads. A lot of people. Uh, it's nice to be recognized. Yeah, absolutely. It gives more motivation, you know, to even work harder for so many years even ahead as well. So I still say I'm still warming up. Okay, caught me in this. What you're going to see, I tell far more than anybody anticipated. In terms of uh, trade, trade shows or coffee industry or anything, I have so many. I can see my path where it's heading. Okay. Uh, the only thing I do is I do it for the community. Okay. And I always emphasize for so many companies. Okay. Make it as mutual benefit. The market is so big. There is a, the opportunities there. You have the know-how. Okay. What is the key of our industry? I, I can talk or no? Yeah, you can. I can? I can continue talking? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I thought interference. Okay. So the, what is the key of our industry? It's education. That's it. What we have to do, we have to teach the consumer to differentiate between specialty coffee and uh, commercial grade. Okay. That's create market for everyone, including yourself. A sustainable market. This is exactly how the Melbourne did it many years back as well. Okay. And... Uh, I attended Africa like uh, three times, and uh, most of the roasters from Melbourne, they used to uh, attend it as well. And I asked them, how in four years do you change the mindset uh, in uh, where? In Melbourne. They reach market maturity. There is no bad coffee inside Melbourne. It's all outside. It's saturated over there. What? It's true. There's some not great coffee, but, but it's yes. super easy to find. Is not the hard part of the industry in Australia. Audience so, is more mature. Exactly. So, so, so the planning was many years back when we formed our board and when they got uh, consent from the uh, World Coffee event and SEA that we start. I say to, to the board members, we need to, to reach a benchmark to reach this level. Okay. In order to do so, we put a strategy for so many years ahead. And uh, this strategy was submitted many years back since 2014. Back then, you know, the European sky and sky uh, was different, okay? But still, it took a journey. When the first edition of the World of Coffee took place, then we went to uh, the World of Coffee Milan. Uh, some of the coffee leaders, they came to me, they congr and congratulate me. They say, it took you seven years to bring the World of Coffee to Dubai. So, well done, Khaled. You waited so long for it, which is worth it. So yes, yes. It's, it's, I know, I've seen, I experienced a lot of people, they gave up sa uh, fast, okay? I've seen volunteers, they gave up fast, okay? You give them responsibility and so on, but some of them are, most of them are dedicated as well, okay? It's about dedication, you know what you, uh, where you're heading, and go ahead. Our yes. friend Melissa is behind, trying to get the technical structure. Yeah. <laughs> She's also a part of us, isn't she? Absolutely. <laughs> so... Really happy the outcome of this show, it's uh, and the standard and the level as well. So we're gonna we're gonna introduce, almost we're gonna introduce now the producer is gonna produce yeah. this movie, the, <laughs> documentary. The, the documentary about how we got there. Yeah. That's Melissa. Melissa also was one of the people behind the scene that worked hard and party hard as well. No, 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 no. I always forget that my wife is, is, is watching that podcast. The fun number one, your fun number one. Yes. Of course, she's gonna watch. <laughs> But this is, but this team here that everyone can see, the team makes happen. Yeah. Huge congratulations. Thank you very much. This is just astonishing. And, and what I would encourage anyone who is a listener of this podcast, please start saving your money now and start planning from now to come to World of Coffee Dubai 2024. Come, I hope that I can get invited back. I hope that we can walk the floor together. Do you know I didn't get to walk the floor once? 
Gosh. Uh, you can see the remains. Yes. Yeah. yeah. Watch it on social media. Yes. But um, honestly, the things you learn, the things you see, the way that we all exchange information together and learn from each other, that's what these events are about. So if you've never been to a coffee expo, this is the one to come to. I have an offer for you. Yeah. How about after we finish this, I'll walk you around in the show. Me and you. I love that. I'll be honored. Okay. The VIP tour. We can t- the VIP, VIP tour. tour. Excellent. VIP Me tour. and you. Okay. Thank you, Excellency. Right. <laughs> Thank you, Excellency. <laughs> it's getting there. You know that. <laughs> that's a good right. joke, folks, but that's fine. All right. We're going to wrap it up. Let me just stay here because I want you to be here when we wrap this up. Okay. I need, I need some space right. here. Thank so you. To wrap. We, we sign off every episode of the podcast with peace, love, and peanut butter. Peace, love, and peanut. and peanut butter. All right. I want the three of you to sign off this episode for just a second. Um, thanks to everybody who tuned in. Thanks to everyone who helped get me here. Thanks to Noah. Thanks to my team, all of it. Um, I'm nothing without everyone. So I'm signing off from World of Coffee Dubai from me, and these guys are going to sign up the podcast for the whole of it. Thank you, peanut butter and cheese and... <laughs> what? I'm butter. hungry. That's peace. Peace, Repeat love. after me. Peace. Peace. Love. Love. And peanut butter. On bread. Peace, love, and peanut butter. Yes. Okay. Peace, love, and peanut butter, people. Bye, folks. Thank you. I'm always hungry. Thanks friends. If you enjoyed this video, here's what you should check out next. Consider supporting Mapper Forward on Patreon and be sure to subscribe and hit the notification bell before you leave.